I do want to bring another update. We have some new information. This was a spotted by a resident in Lamar, confirmed tornado on the ground. So we'll take a zoom into this system right now. Tornado warning, it will remain into effect until 415. So we will see if this does get extended. Can we switch up to our Lamar camera right now? Because we have quite the scene of this system as it is reaching the ground right now. You can see just in the distance, you actually see the funnel headed right towards our camera. Bit of debris getting launched up. We'll see how this uh, manages to unfold. Again, a resident in Lamar reported that this was visible. The storm is moving 15 miles per hour to the north and east. That's not very quick and we have ingredients in place. The good news, as Bart did mention, as of now it's in rural portions, but it is looking like it's tracking towards some houses and other uh, farms and structures out towards the plains. Again, this was reported from a resident in Lamar. They had visual meaning the storm is reaching the ground, extending all the way up towards the clouds and hail within the cell could also be upwards of about three fourths an inch in diameter. We're going to stay on this camera until we do get uh, until it does lift or we uh, see that the alert has changed. Any new information we will keep you updated right now. It's officially seven miles north and east of Lamar. The storm speed is about 15 miles per hour. So this is an observed tornado and it looks like it's headed right towards our camera. And until we really lose this instability and we lose this convergence, we have very favorable storm conditions. What I'm doing off the screen right now, I'm taking a look at these storm details. We'll keep you guys on this live cam and I'll do all the digging behind the scenes right now. Velocity is just still too far away from our storm, but we do have these very favorable conditions. If we could pan out on that just a bit and show that it is reaching up towards the ground again, confirmed landspout tornado by a resident in Lamar. This will need to get officially confirmed by the National Weather Service. So at this point, we will run with an observed tornado, albeit our camera very clearly showing. We have a pretty dangerous situation unfolding. Some good news, it's in the rural portions north and east of Lamar. This tornado warning again remains active till 4.15. Let's see if we have any other information coming in. You do likely have some hail with the storm as well. If I pull up our Baron Raider, we have about half inch hail. So this is not only producing a tornado on the ground, but we do have hail up to half an inch in diameter. Obviously with a system like this, hail will not be our main concern. Let's switch back, take a look at what our camera is showing. We're gonna stick with this camera until it eventually lifts off the ground. The unfortunate situation with this system, we have a very favorable environment. So it's only looking like this tornado is getting its act together until it starts to hit some debris, which we hope it doesn't, but it is tracking towards some more populated areas out towards the plains. Right now, storm track would be towards Granada, and that is what we'll keep a close eye on. Again, it is about seven miles north and east of Lamar, moving 15 miles per hour. So until we start to see this break up or lift, we'll stick with it on this camera. Could be a dangerous situation. If you're in Granada, now is the time to get to a shelter. Even Lamar, keep our eyes out. You can always get a few surprises with these systems. So we're keeping a very close eye right now. But it does look like perhaps some slight weakening with the storm. Good news, it stayed out in rural portions again of Prowers County. But we do see some structures uh, within a pretty reasonable distance where it could stay on the ground. So this is something we are tracking. It's developing right in front of our eyes as we do speak. Remember, this is reaching the ground all the way up to the clouds. That makes it a confirmed land spout by observation. We're going to need the National Weather Service to give us the official word, but it is safe to say, here we go. We just got another public report, local report of a tornado on the ground just north of Lamar. This is now five miles north of Lamar. Our last report was seven miles north of Lamar. So we will be keeping a very close eye. No changes on our radar just yet. This alert lingers until about 415. And I do think until we see this pick up, we will start to uh, until we start to see this alert pick up this tornado pick up. Rather, we will see an extended alert here. So 415 is the current thinking, but we'll see how long this tornado does remain on the ground.